a lot of excitement, a lot of energy. Um, you know, throughout the year, I, you know, I've talked about how we as a team work on generating our own energy throughout dual meets or other invites or the pod meet, depending on where we go. Um, this place, you do not have to generate energy. It is there. It is palpable. You can feel it. Um, even when we walk on deck today just to do our, our practice swim before the meet starts on Wednesday, um, you'll, you'll feel this jolt of excitement just from walking on deck, and it'll be a pretty calm atmosphere. You know, it's just some people warming up. You know, there's nothing really exciting going on, but just as soon as you walk into the building and as soon as you step on deck, you realize where you are, and that excitement just starts to build inside you, and it, it's just a really cool feeling. Uh, that was first semester. It's in the first half of our season, and you know, just like we're a different team now than we were then, so is everybody else. You know, every team gets better during the year. You continue to work hard. Your training continues to ramp up. So, the team we were then, while was successful at the pod meet, is, is a completely different team now, and that's the same for anybody from William and Mary, Delaware, UNCW that were in our pod, or the other teams in the CAA that were at the other pod meet. So, you know, I think. We'll be very competitive. The CAA has tons of talented swimmers. Um, I think it's going to be a really fast meet, which means it's going to be really exciting. I don't think that, you know, as a team, we really just try to focus on ourselves. I don't think we can focus on one team and be like, oh, we need to, we need to really beat just this one team because, you know, by doing that, A, you're not focusing on what you can control, and B, it, there's too many talented athletes in this conference to, to just try to focus in on one school. So, you know, we're going to focus on purple and control what we can control, kind of keep doing what we've been doing, have fun, laugh a lot, and uh, just feed off all the excitement of being championships. So Wednesday night, we start off with two relays. Um, relays are swum only at finals. Um, the other three days that you mentioned, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, it's a prelim final format. And what that means is in the morning, everybody swims their event that they're entered in. And what you're doing is you're jockeying for place. You're trying to get into the top 16 because at night, the top 16 come back, and that's when you score that's when you swim to score points. That's where you can earn points. Now, there's two tiers. There's a first through eighth which can score a certain amount, obviously higher points, and then 9 through 16, which can score um, other lower value points. Once you're in one of those tiers, you can't move up or down. For instance, if you go a time in the 9 through 16 place at night that actually beats somebody in the first through eight time slot, you can't bump up and get eighth or seventh or something like that. So that's kind of what everybody's swimming for in the morning. You know, the term we use is you got to do the work in the morning so that everybody can play at night. And what we mean by that is play and score points and swim faster and move up in your seating. So that'll be the format. It's a, definitely a longer meet than any other meet we've gone to. So it's very important to compartmentalize and take one session at a time. We're swimming seven sessions over three and a half days. And it's very important that our girls stay in the moment, focus on what they're doing, what's right in front of them, and not get ahead of themselves because you can start to get lost in a meet that lasts that long. Yeah, our divers are awesome. Becky does a great job, and Carly and Danny and Olivia did awesome last week. Um, you know, I wish we were all under one roof at the same time so we could cheer on each other and be there for one another, but, you know, that's just the logistics and pool availability and all of those things. But the, the cool thing is, is by having such strong divers, it really gives our girls, the swimmers at least on the swimming side, a sense that championships has begun even though we're not at our championship venue yet. So they start a whole kind of ball of momentum that we get to just take and run with going into our championship. So by having such excellent divers do so well, our swimmers get, it, A, they get excited for the meet that's coming up, but we also get a lot of momentum. So we're not starting from zero. We already have momentum going into this meet, and that's really exciting, and it just helps our swimmers perform that much better.